What's going on guys from the Project M here for my Extreme Rules 2010 review. I have to say Extreme Rules is actually a good pay-per-view for what it was worth. And I'm um, going to get right into the matches. Uh, the first match uh, with, was actually a gauntlet match, a tag team gauntlet match between Showmiz, uh, MVP, Mark Henry, uh, John Morrison, and R-Truth, and the Hart Dynasty. But before we got into that match, of course, uh, Showmiz came out uh, saying, um, you know, they have returned and everything despite the volcano. And uh, saying that they want Bret Hart to come out and say how great of a tag team they really are. Uh, then uh, Teddy Long came out and issued that gauntlet match, which, uh, you know, was uh, the first match right after that. And uh, the first tag team ended up being uh, John Morrison and Our Truth, actually doing pretty well in this match. Uh, it was a good gauntlet match. And, uh, of course, Showmiz uh, ended up beating. Uh, John Morrison and R Truth, then MVP and Mark Henry came out, and they were all battling back and forth for a good while until Showmiz ended up beating them too as well. And by the way, the winners of this match will be the number one contenders for the tag team championships tonight. And um, of course, uh, the last team being the Hart Dynasty coming out with Bret Hart, and um, you know the Hart Dynasty taking out uh, the Big Show first, and then. Uh, taking out the Miz with the heart attack and ended up defeating uh, Show Miz. So um, they're the new number one contenders for the tag team championships, which I was very happy about. Hopefully that we get to win it tonight in Raw. Uh, I think that would be a really great thing to have. So um, look for that match tonight. Uh, you know, it was actually a good gauntlet match. Um, with that, then we had the next match, uh, CM Punk versus Rey Mysterio. This was a good back and forth matchup, uh, better than the uh, uh, WrestleMania 26 match for sure. Um, you know, we saw the interference with the Shredded Society. Uh, you know, CM Punk and Rey Mysterio fighting uh, outside and inside the ring. And, uh, you know, we saw the interference with Sarita, uh, you know, giving the kick to Rey Mysterio. Um, you know, Luke Gallows uh, interfering as well, uh, you know, trying to take out Rey Mysterio. But after a while, uh, the ref had enough and sent him right to the back. Uh, so it ended up being uh, CM Punk and Rey Mysterio by themselves, going back and forth. And, you know, this was a really good match. I was into it. Uh, we had help uh, from a mystery man uh, coming out from under the ring, uh, you know, getting the distraction with the steel chair. I don't believe uh, CM Punk used the steel chair, but he did use the GTS to pick up the win with the help of the Mystery Man, which seems to be uh, Jerry Mercury, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I know he's supposed to return to SmackDown soon, uh, but it could be anyone at this point, so I don't really know for sure uh, with that. Um, then we get into uh, JTG versus Chad Gaspard in the strap match. You know, this was actually pretty good. Um, you know, it was watchable. Uh, uh, Shad Gaspard and JTD, JTD, uh, doing actually pretty well, uh, in this match. Um, I picked Shad Gaspard to win, but JTD came back alive in this match. And, um, you know, um, you know, tagging, uh, the ropes to, uh, get the win, because you have to, you know, you know, slap the, uh, the ropes to uh, win. And that's what JTD did, so he got the victory over Shad on that one. Uh, then we have the, uh, the women's match at the, you know, the women's championship match, the stream rules, uh, makeover match. This is actually pretty good. We saw the use of the ironing board and the iron. Uh, I believe that was it. We didn't see too many use of weapons. Uh, they did go back and forth outside the ring for a little while. Uh, actually for a while, uh, Beth Phoenix and Michelle McCool. It was actually an enjoyable match. It was pretty good for what it was worth. Uh, of course, Beth Phoenix became the new women's champion uh, by defeating um, Michelle McCool with their finishing maneuver. And uh, we have a new women's champion out of that, so congratulations to you, Beth Phoenix. Uh, very happy about that. Hopefully she will have a good uh, lengthy title reign uh, as a result to that. Um, then we have Seamus versus Triple H in a street fight. You know, early in the night, uh, Seamus attacked Triple H, which gave him the upper advantage. 
uh, for the rest of the night. We saw the use of a candlestick. Uh, they did go out to the ramp, but they didn't go out, you know, pretty much anywhere else or to the street or anything, but just, you know, around the ring, going back and forth. It was actually a good match. It was enjoyable. Um, overall, Sheamus did end up winning that match, which uh, gave him the victory. Uh, Triple H was, seemed to be hurt. Uh, he did get help from the back, but as he was getting help, Sheamus then comes out and attacks. Triple H, of course, he seemed hurt with his, uh, you know, injury with his neck, so it looks like we might not see Triple H for a while, depending on what's going to happen with that, just to let you guys know. Uh, the World Heavyweight Championship came in kind of early, Jack Swagger versus Randy Orton. Uh, for what it was worth, too, that was also a good match back and forth, Jack Swagger winning Randy Orton, uh, doing really well in this match. Um, you know, uh, I guess you could say it was kind of slow for a start, but it ended up picking up, and um, Jack Swagger ended up retaining his World Heavyweight Championship, which I predicted, so that's very good on his part. Um, then we have the um, steel cage match between Edge and Chris Jericho. This was actually a good match. Honestly, I didn't really mind who won this match, uh, but I did predict Edge to win it. Uh, they did actually a good job in the steel cage match. Uh, you know, they uh, had a little battle on top of the steel cage, uh, where it's a point where Chris Jericho got stuck. Uh, so that would have been a good point uh, for Edge to actually escape the cage. Um, so, you know, his hands got stuck in, inside the uh, steel cage there on the top. So that was actually pretty cool with that. Uh, we did see the use of a spear, which also uh, ended up giving Edge the win with that, uh, helping him there. So Edge did uh, defeat Chris Jericho in this match like I predicted. Then we get into the uh, WWE Championship match, the last man standing match. Uh, honestly, I didn't see all of this match, to be honest with you, but from what I saw, it was actually uh, going pretty well, good back and forth. Um, I didn't really get to see them, uh, you know, go outside the ring too much because I didn't see all of it. Um, but in the meantime, uh, John Cena did end up retaining the WWE Championship against Batista. Uh, so overall, Extreme Rules was a good pay-per-view. Uh, guys, you know, uh, drop a comment down below on your thoughts of the pay-per-view, what you thought of it. And uh, that has to do with the view for today. The draft is tonight. And uh, that has to do with the video. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And I will definitely, guys, talk to you guys later. Peace.